This video is about a waterproof connection box designed for using, well, any connector you want outdoors. But the design of it is really clever and allows, although it's plastic, it allows for earthing of steel wire armour cables. And it is rated to be buried with suitable connectors or mounted on poles in multiple ways. But before I get there, let's take a look at some of the products from the same company. Those of you who are familiar with Vago connectors, Wago connectors you might want to call them, the correct pronunciation, pronunciation is Vago apparently, Wagner Obricht. But you've probably come across, well you may not have come across these yet. Uh, America is just discovering the Vago connectors. In the UK they've been around, well in Europe they've been around for a while. And this is a box called the Vago box, uh, made by a company called Connexbox. And the idea is that you terminate your wires into this box and it's got adjustable cable grips and then you slot these in here and it holds everything well separated in position and then you clip the lid down and you can either screw it with these uh, pierceable screws at the back or you can put a little mounting pin onto woodwork and just slot it on and if needs be for extra safety you can cable tie this shut as well it's got a position position for that they did another version which was a smaller version called Vago Box Light or Wago Box Light. And this is designed for, well, lights, basically. And you've got the two cord grips at the side that are adjustable. And uh, you can put your connectors in here. And say, for instance, uh, if you had some GU10 downlights, you could have the cable hanging out the ceiling. You could terminate it, bring the two uh, solid core wires in here, terminate them, flex out the other side, close it. You could pop it through the hole for this. It's compact enough to go through the hole, tuck it to the side and then clip your light fitting up to the ceiling. Very good. The next version of that, this almost merits its own video, is the uh, Wagobox XL. This is so good. It's designed for larger uh, junctions. And it is so clever. It's got multiple positions that you can put these cord uh, cable restraints in again. They clip into little slots. It's got the multiple terminal positions. This would be great for uh, control systems and stuff like that. It's got the pierceable uh, holes at the back. And when you shut it down, it's also got a little extra grip here that as it closes down, that goes through a hole, meaning that it doesn't even rely just on this sort of hinge mechanism. When it's physically clipped shut, it is solid. I have to say, if you get one of these, don't clip it shut until you absolutely have to. It's very hard to open it again after it's clipped shut because it, it clips so well. Also notice that for extra uh, stability of the strain relief, there are these little indents here. Well, these little inserts that clip down and push into that. Oh, and it's got labelling positions here so you can actually write in it. I didn't see that before. Single circuit, maintenance free. Is it really single circuit? Uh, very good. However, the subject of this video is from the same stable. And it is the capsule version of that. And this is designed for outdoor use. It's designed with the correct uh, connectors, like proper waterproof connectors. The how waterproof the connector is will depend on the rating of what you can do with this, whether it has to be mounted out of water or it can be mounted underground. This is a waterproof connector, but it is not rated fully for uh, sort of submersion. So I wouldn't rate this particular one, even though it is water resilient and it's got seals. It's got a little seal in here for the cable that goes in. And it's also got the external cable grip and another seal in there. Uh, for the wire armour. Um, but I wouldn't rate this as fully sort of making it waterproof. There are better connectors. But the idea of this is that you can get it in black or clear. And once you've actually terminated it, it can then either be buried or you can clip it into, say for instance, this, which you could mount on a post or wall. And when it clips in, this will make a click. It clips in solidly. Um, there are ways to get this out again uh, but also you get this which is designed to be banded onto a, a pole and it means that say for instance if you had a street lighting uh, pole with connections on it you could clip this in and this one is the I think it's more recent version it does actually have a hole here that allows you to put a screwdriver in and just prise that little clip back 
a little bit and release it for getting it back out again. When you're connecting wire armors into this, and as it comes, it comes black, there's no holes in it. It's got indents here, and I wonder what this little cog wheel was for. It turns out the little cog wheely thing is actually just a, a splined grip, because when you drill those little indents in there, and you put suitable glands in, as I've done here, if you are using steel wire armor uh, terminations, then you can put this in, uh, line it up, press it down, and it doesn't just bond all the armors together electrically, but it also gives you a little uh, spade terminal for getting an earth connection off for uh, other connections. If you have a need for more terminations than that, you also get this little plate here. I'm wondering why this is a little indent. Is this designed to be snapped in half or using as two separate plates? Not sure. But uh, when you use this, it's got a little marker hole which goes to the top, I think. You can align it with the bottom and it's got little indents here that you can use as a marking uh, point. And you mark this, drill it, and then this goes in the inside. And when it goes in the inside, the glands go through that. It grounds the metalwork together, but it also, once again, gives you a little spade connection. For You can fold this up and it gives you that spade connection for getting an earth connection. Very, very good. When you put these together, uh, I shall pull this back out. Can I pull it back out? Yes, I can. If I put this together as it is, you'll hear it squeaking loudly. That's because it has O-ring seals, but I've not put lubricant on them yet. It needs lube. The kit that comes with it comes with a few different items. It comes with uh, a little clip here that uh, goes down into here. Try to remember how this goes in. It goes in like that. And now, when you actually put this lid on, it will actually physically clip into that. When it's turned around far enough, it will latch in. And the only way to get this back off again is to actually put a screwdriver down or a little thumb tool they give you that you can press in and rotate. And it releases it. But the other thing you get in here is the two O-rings. You get one O-ring for going in the inside here where I've already got one. And the other O-ring is goes in the inside here. Plus you also get the little tube of excellent dielectric properties. Good thermal conductivity, water repellent, non-melting temperature range, minus 40 to 200 degrees Celsius, translucent silicone compound. It's silicone grease. And they recommend that you smear it round these rings before putting it in, which will add to the sealing effect. And then they also recommend putting a wee dab on these uh, to actually make sure that when you put it together, it slides nicely. Instead of making this loud squeaking noise, it will actually just slide better and click. I'm not going to put the silicone grease on right now because once you've done that, uh, it's going to pick up dust and stuff like that. It's the sort of thing you do last thing before you put this on. But I like this. I like the fact that you can visually inspect cables through it. You can see if there's been water ingress. You can see uh, which can happen down the inside of cables. Uh, or if any of the connectors are damaged, if something's gone horribly wrong. That's It's just well thought out. It's a good design. Uh, anything else worth mentioning about that? Not really. This uh, gland here is a basic steel wire armor gland. It is not waterproof at all. I mean, I'd say... The other ones, uh, I suppose that technically speaking, I don't know if this is recommended, you could fill this with uh, the dielectric gel, the the stuff, that the two-part gel that sets, but that would take quite a lot of it, and it but it would make it totally waterproof. Um, but uh, ultimately water can get down the inside of cables, so you have to allow for that. You have to consider that uh, it will find its way in by nefarious means. Um, incidentally, and this is quite interesting, real Vago connector. Pops in there. Uh, fake one from China is a bit of a friction fit. Doesn't really fit. That's interesting to note that they're not fully compatible with these. That's good. You shouldn't use the cheap Chinese clones. You should just use the real thing because then you get something that's guaranteed. And uh, I know that uh, certainly America, they're not going to give up their, their wire nuts anytime soon. These are sold here, but nobody ever uses them. Uh, and I can understand why, because when you tighten these onto a group of wires, it presses the copper tightly together, and it forms a very good electrical connection. But it's just not as versatile as being able to pop 
uh, one wire out just by lifting a latch, pop it out for testing reasons, then pop it back in and close the lid down. These are just so much faster. Um, the UK, we used to love our chalk block, but when it comes to crunch, Vago terminals, Vago, Wago, whatever you want to say, uh, are the way to go. And these uh, Connex box, Wago box units, including this waterproof one, are just the bee's knees. They're just one of the best things that's happened in the electrical industry in a very long time. So that's it. I'll just be all enthusiastic about this. I think this is a really, really good design. But if you've used these a lot in the field, it'd be interesting to know in the comments down below if you've had any problems with them because it's always useful to to get other perspectives on them but other than that uh, a well-designed product uh, that is just um, impressive it's just very functional and well-designed